2013 is the year of living gluten-free. A survey finds one-third of Americans are now trying to avoid gluten, led by a list of celebrities who say it's changed their lives. So you're probably wondering, should I go gluten-free? Well, the truth is a lot of people who are on a gluten-free diet don't need to be, and a lot of people who should be avoiding gluten aren't. So here are the facts. A visit to any grocery store proves the gluten-free diet has gone mainstream. But what is gluten? Well, it's a protein found in wheat, meaning bread, pasta, cookies, even soy sauce and some salad dressings. Gluten is also in barley and rye, but we eat less of these grains. Gluten must be avoided by people with celiac disease. Short term, they suffer stomach aches and other gastric problems. Long term, their intestines are damaged. That prevents the absorption of nutrients and leads to a host of other problems, including osteoporosis, fatigue, muscle pain, skin rashes, even certain cancers. Even crumbs are enough to do damage, so people with celiac disease must stay on a strict gluten-free diet for life. Doctors used to think celiac disease was rare, but a recent study by the Mayo Clinic found it is becoming far more prevalent that provides proof that this disease is common in the United States. So if you are a naysayer and say, well, that's really a rare disease and you don't see it very often, well, that's probably because it's not getting diagnosed very often, not because it's not there. Dr. Murray is a gastroenterologist specializing in celiac disease at the Mayo Clinic. So if we have one person detected for every five or six who actually have it, we're not doing a very good job you know, in terms of detecting celiac disease. The Mayo study determined about 1.8 million Americans have celiac disease, but the vast majority of them, 1.4 million, don't know it. That means the gluten-free message is reaching the wrong people. <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow is just one of many celebrities who say cutting gluten made them healthier. Thanks in part to Hollywood's example, the Mayo study found 1.6 million Americans who don't have celiac disease now avoid gluten. It's a little ir ironic, you know, that you have 1.6 million people who are on a gluten-free diet but without a diagnosis of celiac disease, and we've got about the same number of people who have celiac disease, don't know it, and aren't on the diet they need to be on. Those people could be doing real damage to their health. What about the rest of us? Is gluten-free a good idea for us as well? Well, there are downsides to the diet. If you're not careful, you can become deficient in vitamin B. It is possible some people have a mild intolerance for gluten and would feel better without it. But most doctors say if you don't have celiac disease, you don't need to cut out gluten. And if you think gluten is making you sick, get a blood test first to find out whether or not you have celiac disease. With Everyday Health, I'm Dr. Sanjay Gupta.